Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video, and today we are doing my September TBR. So I'm going to remain optimistic and put five books on my TBR and hope that I do get through them. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. <music> So in honor of a recent game announcement, there's a new game coming out called Arkham Knight. Batman unfortunately died, but Batman has an awesome Bat family. And so it looks like in this game, you actually take control of Red Hood, Batgirl, Nightwing, and Red Robin, or Robin, the third iteration, Tim Drake, and you essentially fight crime as them. And I noticed that the main bad guy of this story, or one of the main bad guys, a really big overlooming shadowy plot is the Court of Owls. And I know they're supposed to be really interesting and really good, but honestly I've never read them. I actually have a novelization of the Court of Owls called Batman the Court of Owls, and it is by Greg Cox. And I also have the uh, Batman comic the Court of Owls by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. So I have the comic and the novelization, and so I'm gonna try actually, I'm gonna go ahead and read both. I'm not gonna read them both this month, but I'm probably gonna do one this month and one the next one. I'm feeling most likely the Court of Owls I end up reading, but I might switch to comic book version if I can't get through all these books. But so that's number one on my list is just consuming a Court of Owls story uh, based on Batman. So the next book I wanna get to in September is Kings of the Wild. I've been wanting to read this for a long time. This is by Nicholas Ames or Eames. So I don't know why, there's something about the story that just has me really intrigued. That cover is just so striking. Essentially this book is about a group of, I guess, I think they're like mercenaries and they have grown up since then. So it's a group of old mercenaries and a plot kind of pushes them back out into the world and they have to do whatever. That's honestly all I know is about a group of grumpy, old, crusty mercenaries or something like that. And it honestly seems really interesting. It's supposed to be really funny. And it just seems like something I really want to read right now. It just seems interesting. And I actually just got that in, so I'm excited to get to it. After that, I'm reading Axios, A Spartan Tale. This is by Jacqueline Osborne. So this is a book I randomly found from a friend on Goodreads, but essentially this lets me achieve my fantasies of romancing Brasidas from <laughs> Assassin's Creed Odyssey, in case any of you guys have played that. But essentially it's just a story about Spartan warriors and the two main characters are gay. So obviously there's a lot of issues that come with that. Homosexuality isn't good. Uh, they're warriors, there's no place for love. So I'm just really interested to see how this goes. <laughs> so the book I'm reading after that is going to be Night of the Dragon by Julie Kagawa. This is the third book in the Shadow of the Fox series. So this one is pretty short. I heard it's pretty good and I'm finally ready to finish a trilogy. I rarely finish book series. So I'm happy to actually go and check one off my list. But obviously I can't get too much into this. Uh, Shadow of the Fox was the first in the trilogy. It follows a fox spirit girl who has to basically take this special secret scroll to another place. And along the way she meets some strappy companions and stuff and it just goes from there. <laughs> so the second book wasn't as strong. I didn't super love it. The ending was pretty good though so I do have high hopes for this one. And like I said I heard this one does finish pretty strong so I'm excited to get to it. And lastly I'm going to be reading Avatar The Shadow of Kiyoshi. This is the second book of the Kiyoshi series. I don't know how many there's going to be. It might just be a duology. I'm not sure. Um, but the first one was really interesting. I love the Avatar world and honestly what they set up in book one with Kiyoshi is super interesting. She's in like a really unique um, avatar. She puts like a different sort of perspective on things. I really loved how the first book subtly opened up or alluded to different things about the avatar universe so it wasn't really like hammy or like shoehorned in any like cameos or like obvious tie-ins but just it was like a really good journey about one of the more interesting avatars that we know about and it slowly sets up the world that Aang is eventually going to go into. So that is it that is my five books I want to get to in I want to get to into September. I did also forget to mention that the Night of the Dragon is actually one of the books on my uh, new magical readings on TBR so I will be checking off another one of those on my list and yeah these are honestly all like completely random and different so I mean we're gonna see how they go I don't think any of them are really gonna be 
bad necessarily. The only one I don't have, the only one I have no idea about is Axios because I think it's like a self-published book, but I've heard lots of good things and it has good reviews. But everything else seems like I should enjoy it. So I'm definitely looking forward to this month. Um, hopefully no bad surprises or anything like that. But yeah, if you guys have read any of these books, let me know down below and that's going to be it for me. So thanks guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye now.